and cassettes. Goals. Be able to replace a free will or cassette. Tools needed. Free will remover, cassette remover, chain whip, adjustable wrench. Parts to identify. Free will, cassette, cassette lock ring, free hub body, hub threads. Step one, removing a free wheel. While most free wheels take a standard tool, there are many different types of free wheels and free wheel tools. Before you attempt to remove your free wheel, make sure the tool you are using fits snug and will not slip or strip out your free wheel. Once you have the correct tool, remove the axle nut or quick release skewer and place the free wheel tool into the free wheel. If you are worried about your tool slipping, you can place the axle nut or skewer back on loosely to hold the tool in place. You can then use an adjustable wrench to remove the free wheel by turning the tool counterclockwise. It may take a lot of force to loosen. If you have access to a bench vise, it may be an easier option to use that instead of a wrench. Step two, reinstalling a free wheel. Once the free wheel is removed, you can clean and re-grease the threads on the hub and the new free wheel. Simply thread the new free wheel on, place the free wheel tool into the free wheel. You can then use an adjustable wrench to tighten it down. Step three, removing a cassette. You can tell the difference between a cassette and a free wheel because the cassette will have a lock ring that sits on the outside of the last cog. To remove a cassette, you will need to place the chain whip on any of the upper cogs and insert a cassette remover into the lock ring. Use an adjustable wrench to turn the cassette remover tool counterclockwise. Unlike a free wheel, a cassette comes apart, so make sure you lay the cogs and spacers out in the correct order when removing them. Step four, reinstalling a cassette. After cleaning or replacing the cassette, grease the free hub body. You will notice that the free hub body has a spline around the outside with one space larger than the others. When installing the new cassette, make sure you line up the large gap with the appropriate place on the cassette. Slide the remaining parts on in order and grease the lock ring threads before reinstalling. Use the cassette remover tool and an adjustable wrench to tighten everything down.